uh, Ian, you've reinvented yourself a couple of times. You've okay. been a coach. You've worked in casinos. You've been, a, you're obviously still a speaker. You're a football player. You're a CEO. So what advice do you have for middle-aged dudes that want to do the same? Not, not say eight different, you know, they don't have to be a Renaissance man like yourself, but they're going, they're 45, they're 50. And they're like, I, I'm just plowing along here and I'm just vanilla. I want to go be, uh, what'd you say? Peach latte or whatever. Yeah, I would say this. The thing, the intersection between the thing you're really good at and the thing that gives you a feeling of meaning and purpose, go after that. Mm -hmm. There's something about the skill set that you have. Mm -hmm. Don't walk away from that. Focus on your ability. And then wherever it intersects with the thing that gives you a feeling of meaning and purpose, pursue that. Don't worry about what you can't do. Absolutely do not worry about what you can't do. Focus exclusively on what you can do. And then attack that with every ounce of energy you have. Third, eliminate any negativity from your life. Anybody that wants to continue to put you back in the box of your failure, your challenge, your difficulty, and they want to bring you back to that repeatedly, you're going to have to push them out of your life. Otherwise, you're never going to change because they're never going to let you change. And then finally, sub surround yourself with supportive people, not people that will just tell you what you want to hear, but people that believe that what you're trying to do is possible and will tell you the truth of how you get there. Those would be the steps that I would take if you were a, a man in a rut, if you will, middle-aged rut. That's how I would start to jump out of that rut and get going in life. 